going to do a little color pencil drawing and my thoughts on what the internet is doing to our children. What's up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing today? I'm going to do a little uh, color pencil drawing. Now, this is a little cartoony sketch of, uh, well, you'll see as it develops. But um, I was just having some fun. But uh, while you watch this, I'm going to talk about this wonderful thing we call the Internet. Yeah, everybody loves it. And we get to do all kinds of things. And we have information at our fingertips and we can talk to people on the other side of the planet and it is kind of awesome but as usual people are involved and we all know how people can be now not everybody but again come on you know how people are and now we have our children yes our children well First of all, I just got to address the thing about, uh, well, you know, how these uh, kids now, what, six, seven, eight, have smartphones? I don't know. I mean, when I was a kid, of course, well, this wasn't around, but to put it in some kind of perspective, I mean, if we wanted something, we had to work for it. We had to uh, prove ourselves, even do chores to get her. But now it's just, oh, well, here you are. We want to be able to make sure we can get a hold. You're six. What do you need to get a hold of a six-year-old for? But anyway, here's the thing. Here's what I don't understand. Now, when you're a kid, you, uh, especially, let's talk about the females. Because guys, let's face it, guys are, are different. No matter how much everybody wants to say that we're all the same, it doesn't matter. Well... It does matter, and we are not the same. Guys have little riffs and tiffs, and they're bullies. But if you're a guy and you're a bully, you scream, you holler, you fight, you throw punches, you do whatever when you're young. And then in a matter of hours, you're uh, back to being friends or whatever. Females, they hold grudges, and they are psychological in their little warfare but here's the deal when we were young you had to uh you know go outside and the people that were around you and in school that's who you had to impress not had to but come on let's face it that's what it's all about when you're that age you don't have a lot to worry about it ain't like you're getting up and going to work and have to worry about paying bills and everything else and eating and all that stuff what do you have to worry about being popular being liked that's right being liked and accepted so now i know everybody said oh they stand up and they they wave their fist and that's right don't fat shame it and don't do this and and don't slut shame and don't do this and don't do that and oh we are all equal and we should all be treated the same and it's horrible what the media does to these poor young women giving them a, a standard that they can never live up to and these poor young girls are watching television and trying to com compete with these people well guess what now at six seven eight years old you're giving them the internet so now they don't just have to worry about getting the kids in their neighborhood and their classmates to like them now the objective is to get the entire planet to like them it's all about the likes how many likes can i get let me start an Instagram. How many likes can I get? How many likes can I get? I'm going to do YouTube. How many likes can I get? How many likes can I get? I got to start Facebook. How many friends do I have? How many followers do I have? How many likes? How many likes? How many likes? Yeah. So now you can stand up and cheer and go, oh, well, 
we are so much better and we treat women. No, you don't. No, no, no. You have given this this given them this tool not to go out and say, oh, look, there's a guy in a wheelchair and he is persevering and he is still living his life. And look, there's a girl who doesn't look like a model, but she's still popular and she's doing this and doing. No, that's not what they're looking at. All they are worrying about is how many likes can I get? A thousand likes? That's not even close to good enough. A thousand likes. Just think about that. When we were young, I didn't even know a thousand people. And if a thousand people like me, I was over the moon. But now a thousand, a thousand likes is nothing. You need a hundred thousand, a million. I need likes, likes, likes. There are reports, there was a study done, there was reports of little girls as young as 10 years old with eating disorder, body mis dysmorphia disorders, depression. They're on depression medicine at 10, 11, 12 years old. I mean, come on. There are grown people here on YouTube that I know and know of that are grown adults, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s that can't deal with the pressures and the comments and and all the the things that people say and do and seeing a thumbs down on your video and having people talk all kinds of trash about you grown adults can't handle it so now you have 10 year old 12 15 hell even 18 year olds dealing with something that grown ass adults have a hard time handling and having a mental fortitude to deal with now you have children literal children competing globally for likes oh yeah so you can talk about the bully in the school and this and that but now yeah they can't deal. They're called names. They're anything you do, you could be perfect. And still, there's going to be a bunch of people on there talking all kinds of trash, telling you how worthless you are, how ugly you are. Now you have some preteen worrying, stressing, pulling her hair out, trying to get likes on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. And then they had these awesome role models, female role models. Oh yeah, men, all they do is objectify women. Men are pigs. Men only want women for one thing. And you have bazillionaires on Instagram doing what? Sticking their boobs out taking their little selfies, arching their back in their bathroom mirror, holding their phone up, taking phone selfies in the mirror, and getting all kinds of likes. They're going out and they're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to get bigger lips, bigger tits, bigger hips, wider ass. Why? Because it's more views, and more views equals more money. So I don't mind selling my body. I don't mind selling my boobs and directing you over to my Patreon page where if you donate $100, you can see me nude. Yeah, I don't mind doing that, but oh, don't look at me. Don't objectify me. Get the hell out of here. You can't have it both ways. Either you don't want people staring at you and ogling you because you're a hot chick, but then make a million dollars a year just for being a hot chick and paying money to get bigger boobs and bigger lips and a skinnier waist. Yeah. And that's what these little girls are trying to do because they see that. And what do they see? More likes. I need likes. I need to be liked. And again, it's not just your little classmates in your neighborhood. It's the entire planet now. And these little kids can't handle it and they're going nuts.
they're starving themselves. They're getting themselves illnesses, mental, physical, and everything. Why? Because of the internet. And mommy and daddy doesn't want to deprive their little, poor little, perfect little child of what everybody else in their class has. Everybody else has an iPhone. Okay, we know you're eight. And you are so irresponsible, you can't even find your shoes. But we're going to give you a $1,000 iPhone to carry around with you. So you can sit on the iPhone and worry about social media until you are literally ill. I don't know, man. I think as parents and as a society, I think that we have gone way, way, way over the edge with this social media Technology is a good thing if you use it in moderation, but when you blow it out of proportion and obsess over it, and I know everyone's, oh, well, I don't, yeah. There's a very, very small minority of people that don't obsess over it. Everyone obsesses over social media. <coughs> I've seen a couple of people right here on YouTube get so beaten down or so caught up in it and then they wake up and they go okay time out and boom they leave they go away some don't come back some just take a break clear their head get their shit together and go okay after they shake the cobwebs off go all right we gotta <laughs> we gotta get a handle on this bull so they make a big change, they come back, and things are different. They're not on here every day, 16 hours a day, in every stream, watching everything, commenting on every video, making this and doing that, and answering comments and finding other people's comments and l having people text them and call them, and they're just so absorbed in this weird life, this social media life so once they get a grip and remember what reality is they come back with a whole new attitude and a whole new outlook and I would only hope that more people take a step back turn off your phone once in a while screw YouTube it's not going anywhere It'll be here tomorrow if you take a day off. I know. You need that ad sense. You need that 30 second of a cent. You got to make a video. And hey, if you don't watch for a day, you might miss out on something. God forbid four people streamed that day and you weren't there to see what happened. <gasps> oh my, whatever will you do? And you're grown people. Just think. This. In the hands of a preteen and a teen. <coughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Remember when you were a teen? Mom, where'd I put my key? Mom, I can't find my favorite shirt I want to wear. Mom, yeah. Now these people are... I need likes. I need the world to like me. More likes on Instagram. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. I'll sext you. I'll send you whatever picture you need as long as you like me. And then you got the girls that are, oh, she's this, she's that, she's this, she's that. And then the poor targeted girl, she's a basket case. Because it's not just your neighborhood. Not just your classmate calling you names anymore and pushing you around and being a bully. It's grown ass adults and people from all over the planet. I don't know. Go ahead and let me know what you think about the way people parent nowadays and rely on the social media to be the teacher, the babysitter. The role model. I don't know. I think it's pretty sad. And don't sit back and say, oh, no, no. It's not like, like, like that. Yeah, it is. Go ahead and look. 
why are there so many people and so many videos that YouTube has to come up with little robots because there's just everybody on the planet. Just look at Twitter. Look at Twitter feed. Go over to Instagram and just do some searches. Everyone is obsessed with themselves and getting more and more likes. You have to like me or my life is worth nothing. And that is where we are in the world today. I find it sad. So, as sad as it all is, here. <laughs> Here's my goofy little colored pencil drawing. I was having some fun. I just came up with some ideas, and as I went, I just started uh, putting things in. Like, hey, I think she needs a bow. And uh, let's give her some wild, crazy hair. This is the, uh, the groomer. I don't know. Is she a pet groomer? Is she a people groomer? She hairstylist? I don't know. You decide. I had fun with her and uh, I hope you enjoy it. My silly little cartoon chick. She got her comb and her blow dryer and her big red bow, some blue eyeshadow, and a big old smile. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my little senseless babble and my drawing. You guys are awesome. This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.